Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin for a runner 255S music and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. Before we start, uh, one thing to mention is to that you can pair this watch with the iPhone in two ways. The first way is to do it through the setup process of the watch. So basically, if the watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings. And the second uh, way to do it is through the settings after the watch has been already set up. Because you can set up a watch without pairing it with a phone. First, I'm gonna show you how to do it through the setup process and then I'm gonna show you how to do it through the settings. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, first thing we need to do is to turn on our watch and to do it, press and hold the light button. Once you see the Garmin logo, you can release the button and wait until the watch turns on. And my watch uh, has been reset to the factory default settings, so that's why I'm gonna show you first how to do it uh, through the setup process. So, if your watch is brand new or it's been reset, you will see the list of languages on the screen, and you can scroll through it by using the up and down buttons. Select the language you would like to use on your watch, once you select it, press start. As you can see, now we're being asked if we want to pair our watch with a phone. We want to do that, so press the start to confirm, and the watch will enter the pairing mode. Now we need to download and install the Garmin Connect application on the phone we want to pair our watch with. So go to your iPhone, make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, open the App Store. In the App Store, tap on the search icon, then tap on the search bar, type in Garmin, uh, Garmin Connect, and tap on search. And you should see this application on the list of apps. Garmin Connect by Garmin. Tap on it. Tap on the Get button to download and install the application. And once the application is done installing, you can tap on Open button to open it. In the app, you may see this pop up on the screen about the Bluetooth permission. If you see it, tap on Allow and then you will see the login page. Basically, we need to log in into Garmin Connect account. If you don't have an account, you can always create a new one by tapping on Create Account button. I already have one, so I'm gonna tap on Sign In, check the box here, tap Next, and now I will need to log in into an account by entering the email and the address. So, uh, email address and password, my bad. So I'm gonna do that. Then tap Next to log in. And after you log in, uh, your app probably will start looking for the nearby devices. And in the process, it should detect your watch, as you can see. If it doesn't detect your watch, you can press the back button here and re-enter the pairing mode just in case. And also, you may see the pop-up on the screen about the notification permission. This is useful if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch. If you don't care, you can deny it. I'm just gonna allow it. Okay, and if you see this page, tap on connect it then tap on Pair. Allow ordinary permission for notifications. Here tap Next. Set up the bedtime. This is useful uh, if you want to use uh, something like Do Not Disturb mode during sleep and stuff like that. Basically, um, some features require uh, this to be set up. Some sleep features like Do Not Disturb mode, I believe sleep uh, tracking and stuff like that. So, to set up the bedtime, simply, simply select the uh, bedtime, set it to whatever you like, then wake time, set it to whatever you like, then tap on next, tap on yes or no. Uh, if you want to turn on the do not disturb mode, tap on yes. If you don't want to, tap on no. And here we can edit our goals, something like step goals, fluid intake and stuff like that. You can also tap on keep default goals if you don't want to uh, change it, or you can tap on edit goals and here you can adjust it to your liking. You can tap on custom, change it to whatever you like, uh, and once you're done, you can uh, tap on the save. There should be save somewhere, oh, okay. Tap next. Um, here we have the location permission. This is useful if you want to get the weather from the certain location, basically from specific location you are in. If you want to track your activities on the map, something like running and cycling, you want to check the route from, for example, on the map and stuff like that. So anything that needs a location. If you want to allow it, tap on allow location access. If you don't care, you can tap on skip. Next, we have the calendar access. This is useful if you want to see the events from your calendar on your watch, maybe manage them a little 
basically anything that comes with the calendar uh, you can allow access for it and you'll be able to interact with it on the watch and to allow the access tap on allow full calendar access if you want to skip it tap on skip then tap next then tap sync now finish and here we have a tutorial how to use our watch you can go through it by tapping on next i'm just gonna tap on skip now you should see the home page of the app you can tap on more uh, garmin devices and you should see your 4 runner 255 as music you can tap on it to open the device page and on your watch uh, you will see that basically you can use your watch now you can uh, use the uh, different functions basically watch is working now uh, after you pair it okay and that's how you pair it through the setup process now i'm gonna remove it uh, from here and we're gonna pair it through the settings okay and to pair your watch through the settings basically we need to enter the pairing mode uh, on our watch to do it uh, press and hold the up button to open the menu then scroll through the menu by using the up or down buttons find the option called the connectivity select it press the start button select phone press start button scroll down find the per phone option and press the start button the watch will enter the pairing mode now we can uh, open the garmin connect application of course if you need to install it install it but already we have it already installed so i'm not gonna do that again tap on uh, more garmin devices and add device usually if you install the app and log in for the first time the app will start uh, searching for the nearby devices automatically but if you're already logged in you will need to tap on more garmin devices and add device here tap on connected of course and do the same stuff we did before so pair uh, bedtime uh, permissions and stuff like that okay next bedtime goals sync now finish skip and here we have home page and in the device page or rather on the device page you should see our for a runner is right here okay and that's how you pair this watch with the iphone thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video